Hi students, in this session we will talk about the median related problems from our worksheet. So question number 11 pathingna, they have asked you to find the median for a given set of data. This is the usual thing. Class intervals are frequency. You have to find the median. So median ko, there is a formula. The formula goes like this. L plus N by 2 minus cumulative frequency divided by frequency into H. Now what is the unknown? L is unknown. L is the lower limit of median class. This is the n. n is the total frequency. So frequency you know it is nothing but sigma f. So n is n calculate. Then cumulative frequency is cf. cf is the cumulative frequency of preceding class. And f is frequency of median class. Now, we have a median class and a preceding class. So, now we have to identify which is the median class and which is the preceding class and all that. Model the median class, median, middle value. So, middle person order value. For example, this is the max and these are the number of students which comes out to be the frequency. So, 0 to 10 marks, how many names are 8 names. 10 to 20 vanganunga 16 members 20 to 30 36 members have scored like that already the ascending order li arrange panni kuduttaanga frequency set so to be very precise if on the classroom la irukra all the students of the classroom if in case i have to make them stand in ascending order according to their marks so first yaar nipama in that entire line first in the eight students nipanga that is the 16 students. That is the 36 students. Correct? So, you have 0 to 10 marks, 10 to 20 marks, 20 to 30 marks, like that. You can make each and every student stand. So, in the way you organize in ascending order, the middle person is marks in the median. So, in the middle person, yarn can be the model in the frequency order, some total n and can be the Add up on on sigma fi comes out to be 100. So, 100 are the middle person, yarn middle will be n by 2, which is 100 by 2. 100 by 2, whatever, 50. So, 50 at the person, yen the adatla are the same. See, 8 to 16 are the same. In the end, in the end, 8 plus 16, totally it is 24. So, up to 24th person, okay, they are in this category. That is the 25th person, 25 plus 36, 24 plus 36, 60. So, 25th person. So, add the set, 36 members. So, 24 plus 36, 60. 60 is in the Okay, so 50th person is here, where are you going to go? From 25th person to 60th person, they are standing in this range. So 50th person will stand somewhere over here. So what is the category? 20 to 30 mark category. So how is this we are doing? We are doing cumulative addition. That is 0 to 10 vangravanga 8 pair. 10 to 20 into the 16 members. Now, other money we have to add it. 16 plus 8, how much it is? 24. Then again, 24 plus 36 is 60. Like that, you will do. If you look at this, sigma fi into the 100, the middle person is 50th person. 25th person and the 60th person, they are coming in the category range 20 to 30 marks. Up to 20, they are coming in the category range. Model line 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 and then we have the frequency over here. Sigma F. In Italy, what is it? 100. Cumulative frequency into the preceding class or cumulative. So, this is the median class. Na? In the median class, the preceding cumulative frequency. So, CF over 24. So, that comes out to be 24 over here. 
then frequency of the median class median class is this so other node corresponding frequency is 36 so in the value it is 36 so l n c f f in the values l m a when you substitute it in the formula you will get the median of this problem so the actual solution goes like this and the values l m a substitute 20 plus 100 by 2 n by 2 minus cumulative frequency 24 divided by 36 into 10 sort out panna you get the median value to be 27.22 marks if in case in the 20 to 30 range thandi 30 ki mele edu vannalu seri illa adavida kammiya vannalu seri onnu neenga inga identify panna thappa irukum illa inge simplify panna mode problem la edha thappa panna irupinga so make sure you identify that part clearly mismatch illama paathukonga when you are identifying the data compute the median from the following data in the problem la difference enna na mid value kuduttaanga middle value kuduthaachna first of all class interval enna kandupidikano ena median formula poratha varaikum namakku lower limit of the median class nu or concept irukku liya adu enna endradhu nam identify pannanum that is why you have to find the class interval so class interval eppadi pannanum mudiyumna idu rendu thunude difference 125 minus 115 how much is it that is the h value which is 10 in the value difference irukkalya other you have to divide by 2 so that will come out as what 5 and the 5 115 and the subtract pannu 115 oda add pannanu in order to get the class limit if 115 minus 5 panna enna varuma you will get it as 110 to 115 plus 5 panna 120 so the difference in their heights ku paadi evlo van kandupidichittu and the mid value la subtract and add pannu na you can get the class interval so height we have got it at the 10 h by 2 a mid value will subtract panna lower limit to mid value would add panna upper limit to you will get using that strategy we have actually obtained the class intervals now coming to the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency in order to find the median formula la cf nor values and also edu vand median class na namlo identify pannano so for these two purposes i require the cumulative frequency so cumulative frequency kandu pidicha total is 390 so in the frequencies ellathi add pannala adhe 390 nu varum you can check that out so sigma fi is 390 appa n by 2 becomes what half of 390 which is nothing but 192 so in the 192 sorry it comes out to be half of 390 which is nothing but 195 in the 195 pathe na it will lie in the class interval 150 to 160 ena 150 first person variku in the category ku la vandruvanga up to 150 in the category la and the 150 second person la the 267th person variku they will come in this category which is this 150 to 160 range adanalada 195th person comes in this category in solli we have identified 150 to 160 as our median class other day lower limit 150 is L. Other day frequency 116 is F. And either day a previous class order frequency, cumulative frequency is CF. So in the details, the usual median formula substitute panona, you get the answer as 153.8. The median is this. In the problem, mid value frequency in the units. So you can just write 153.8 units. Question number 13. The median of the following data is 32.5. So question lay median n and you have to find x and y, rend unknowns. So frequency path here 0 to 10 x, 10 to 20 5, 20 to 39, like that you have got all the frequencies and some total of all frequencies is given as 40. Now you have to find both x and y. So Adhika, I'm just trying out the cumulative frequency first. What is it? Either x, then it comes out as x plus 5, likewise. So on the money data zelame add up item on the na finally you arrive at x plus y plus 31 but they have given you the sum total of all frequencies is 40. So cumulative frequency is last value pathing na it is nothing but sum total of all frequencies in son earlier. So either either order equate panona you get x plus y is equal to 9. So this is one equation for us x plus 1 is x plus y is equal to 9. Either card the median kandu pidikinu na 
you should know the median class right ah inga question la median e kuduttaanga 32.5 is given to us appa in the 32.5 enna category la maarudhu 30 to 40 ku la dhaan varudhu it's a value which lies in between 30 to 40 so obviously median class is 30 to 40 So median class is 30 to 40. So other node lower limit is 30, and other node corresponding frequency is 12, and cumulative frequency is x plus 4. Cumulative frequency of the previous class it is x plus 4. Height is 10. 40 minus 30, which is 10. So now we have all the data as required to be substituted in this formula. In the line, na median one, na magtariyo. It is 32.5. So there is only one unknown, which is x in this entire thing. So if the cross multiply by simplify by no na you get x or the value as three, and in the value if I take it over here and substitute, I can get y's value to be six. So this is how we sort out these two problems. X is equal to three and y is equal to six is the solution for this problem.